Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome to another one. Do it yourself and save some money. So we're here on the boat. And that's another reason why I like keeping my boat at home. Because you could do maintenance like this uh, at home. Because in the marina, it makes it look kind of hard. So what we're doing today is we're actually uh, changing the fuel filter water separator. The thing is, I noticed the other day when I went um, and I looked in my compartment down there, noticed there was some kind of rust stains on the floor and stuff. You see down there? I don't know how, I don't know if you can really see it, but you see how it's getting rusted, the filters? I guess all the humidity and salt water is rust like that. And that's the thing, that's the thing you don't want it to happen. You're out there in the water and what happens is that rust eats up to the wall of the filter and then it starts to leak fuel. Now you have two problems. You, one of the engines is gonna lose fuel pressure, so you're gonna stall out and you're gonna get uh, fuel in the bilge. And that is very dangerous because any spark uh, caused by the bilge pump or any other pump that you have could catch your boat on fire. So if you guys, uh, you know, what I like to do is once in a while, I like to look at the filters and make sure the rust uh, is not eating through the wall. And if it is, I, I go ahead and change the filter. And that's what I noticed. <coughs> that's what I noticed that the rust the filters are getting kind of brittle so i'm going to show you guys how to do it um can you hand me that tool thing okay first of all you need oh and by the way everybody made fun of my one of, one of my last videos of my rusted tools the problem is salt water salt water like you guys know already eats up everything and yes these are automotive tools so uh they're not really marine tools so when you uh when they start getting you know uh, splash and and wet by salt water they get rusted but they still work no big deal and then i already got the filters over there and um so far i think it's been like a year oh look yuli's gonna help us yuli you're gonna change the filter room i wish and then we got the main man in the back he's gonna help us too because uh once i'm in that hole right there it's hard to get out now what we need is is a little bucket that i already got here because remember the, f the fuel filters they're uh they're under pressure not that much pressure right now uh maybe you want to say i want to estimate five to ten pounds of pressure because of fuel that's running through so once i unloosen them it's gonna leak fuel so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this under the the fuel filter and i catch the the excess gas so it doesn't go on the bilge so let's go show has done okay Oh. You see the filters how they are? You see that? You see? That eventually is gonna eat up through the filter wall and um and cause a leak. And like I said, it's gonna stall your motor and you're gonna get built in the I mean you're gonna get gas in the bilge, so it's, that's that's the dangerous part. I'm gonna stick the bucket here while I twist the the filter off and then uh catch the gas in here. Grab your filter wrench and then loosen the filter. Loosen it a little bit, but not that much because you don't want, like I said, you don't want the gas to drip on you. So you go ahead, there you go. I don't know if you can see, see the gas coming out? So see, you don't want that to get in the bilge. So you take it, you take it off, you take it off. And this is not that bad. I mean, I thought it was gonna be worse because of the position in the hole but i guess once i found something uh, there you go see see how bad it was all right so we got the new filter um we're gonna go ahead and okay guys so remember something else that's really good too uh is to put uh marine grease uh around the seal now you do this right here you do this because the rubber sticks onto the to the metal housing in the where the filter uh goes or the filter flange or whatever you want to call it or bracket and it's really hard to get out so it's always good to put a little bit of grease um around the the seal there so when it doesn't it doesn't stick to the metal bracket there because remember one time i couldn't take it off in the ranch Remember, what a wrench does is it squeezes and then it twists. But it was so rusted that it broke 
the filter, what I had to do was take a screwdriver through the filter and little by little move it. Let's put it back in. And remember, uh, put it back in and just hand tighten it. Put it in. That's it. Hand tighten it. You don't need any more. Okay. Next uh, filter here, sir. And then more grease on this one. Now you can use grease, you can use oil. Just don't put a lot of it, you know, because it might get into the filter itself. So it's just on the rubber itself. And it's always good. So now let's go to the second filter. And remember, hand tighten it. You don't have to kill it. Because like I said, once it gets pressure, it's going to get tighter. All right, now we're going to go to the third one. You see, this one's really bad. I mean, this one's really ugly. So let's go take that one off. And this one. All right. Let me get the little buggy. Almost got, almost dripping gas everywhere in there. All right. Uh, you gotta catch the gas. You gotta catch the ga gotta catch the gas. And another good thing what I'm gonna do is once I finish uh doing this, I'm gonna spray soap and water in here and get all the gas fumes out of here. Because uh that's a dangerous that is dangerous. This is the third one. Open up the new little filter. Then I wonder why. I mean I guess I don't wonder, they just do it. Manufacturers they should use better quality paint for the fuel filters and stuff because they know it's salt water and they know salt water kills everything. And that would, they will, I guess it will make the filter last longer, but I guess that's not business for them. So, My arm is all right, so let's go back to the third one. Let's put it in, baby, let's put it in. Uh, let's put it in. All right, what happened? Okay. Okay, remember, it's all hand tightened. Let me put it in. Tighten it by hand. Don't kill it either, you know. If you're like me and you got strong hands, you go over tighten things. So you got that, and that's it. All right, so you got one, two, three. Brand new fuel filters, water separators. And look at the old ones. You see how bad they were? See that? Like I said, Right there, rust is gonna eat through the metal and cause a fuel leak and you're gonna lose pressure. See right there, it's really bad. So that's becoming dangerous there. So I'm kind of glad that I kind of looked at it, but I can't complain. It's been over a year and a month. So I can't complain down here. And down here is very moisture. Like my new seating area. Uh, yeah, you see like that, see that's all moisture. So, uh, you know, just keep an eye on your stuff. This is preventative maintenance, right? I think I said it right. I don't know, it's a tongue, tongue twister. Wait, 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 wait. So now you gotta go ahead and clean it up. Like I said, go sp spray this down with water and soap and clean it up, you know, to get the gas uh, fumes and uh, whatever little drips I got in. Okay, guys, and also uh, don't forget to go ahead and prime your uh, your lines. So go to your uh, prime balls. Mine are right here, and you gotta go ahead and uh, prime your filters. You gotta go ahead and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until they get hard. And uh, what you could do is you could actually turn them out of the house, or you know, turn the motors on, because anyway, the fuel uh, pump from the engine is gonna fill them up too. So that's something good to do. So don't forget to make sure you fill up the, the fuel filter by priming the balls or turning the motors on. So guys, if you guys notice your filters are rusted like that and you're not mechanically inclined and you're here locally in Miami uh, or Broward County, you know, don't be afraid to call my friends at Atlantic Marine. You know, they'll go, they'll go order the part for you and put it in for you. So, uh, you know, that's for those people that 
don't know how to do it, you know, go ahead and give them a call. They have parts in stock and they do service. And remember, they service Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki. So you can contact them if you want. All right.